Candice. Look, I wasn't jealous. I was just worried this guy could be anyone. That rich coming from you seems as you met Sarah in the chat room. That's different. We met in public, not at her house. Yeah, and if I hadn't showed up, you'd have gone out anyway. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, but you know what? Sarah is perfectly safe. I went with her. He lives with his parents, and he even saw his dad. Uh, what's this about, Sarah? Now look what you've done. Oh, and for your information, I don't even care if you're jealous. Because at the end of the day, I only went out with you because I couldn't have your brother. Candice! Oh, no, you don't. But I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Oh, yeah, now would you know? Some kind of expert or something. Hey, it's not Todd's fault. Gail, this lad could be anyone. She's gone to his house. His parents were there, though. Candice said. Yeah, well, whatever. The fact is, she's dragged us into this little deception again. And she's got a grandma babysitting for her. I'm telling us she was studying. I might have known it was too good to be true. I'm going to ring Candice, find out this lad's address. Yeah, I'm going to find out exactly what they've been saying to each other. Can you work a computer? Yeah. Good. You can show us what to look for on ours. Come on. So, what do you think about Gary, then? Oh, he's really nice. I can talk to him about anything. I just feel really close to him. I know it's silly, considering we've never even seen each other. I don't think that matters. You know when you've met someone special, don't you? Yeah. I think he feels really close to you, you know. Like twin spirits. That's exactly what he said. As he showed you our messages. Look, Louise. I've got something to tell you. I know this is going to be really hard for you to take in. What? But the fact is, I'm Gary. Ah, oh, here we go. She must have deleted all her emails. And what about this chat room stuff? Can't she save that? Nope. Any luck? No. What about you? No, I keep ringing, but there's no reply. Right, I've had enough of this. I'm going to go and find Candice. Leave this. I'm sorry, Louise. I know this must be a shock. You're joking, right? I mean, the photo. It's my sister and her son. I know I shouldn't have lied to you, but I didn't want to lose you. If I told you how old I was, you'd never have come, would you? No. I'm going to go now. I don't blame you. That's what I deserve. I feel so terrible. It's just everything you've said to me, it's all been lies. Pretending you were his dad. And that phone call, you must have faked it. I was scared you'd leave before I had a chance to explain. But it's just... I've never met anyone like you before. It's just like you said, we're so close. That was before I knew. But what's changed? Only my age, I'm still the same person I always was. I'm still Gary. What we have is so special, you know it is. It's different now. Have you ever told me any lies? Yeah, my name's Sarah. Louise is my middle name. Sarah. It's a beautiful name. And I'm 14, not 16. Well, there you are, you see. I bet you said that just because you thought I wouldn't be interested in you if I knew how young you were. It's only the same thing, isn't it? Maybe. That's £2.50, love. Thank you. Did you have a nice weekend? I wish. Me and my boyfriend split up and my best friend's just never going to speak to me again. Oh, dear. Ah, there you are. I want some answers from you, young lady. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't start coming the innocent with me. Besides, I haven't got time. So, just how old is this lad? Nineteen. You what? Right. How do I find his house? Whatever's happened. Oh, it's only Sarah, Rita. She's gone and sneaked off to see some lad that she doesn't even know from Adam. And this one's in on it. Excuse me. I don't know why everyone's having a go at me. It wasn't even my idea. Address. Now, please. Sarah will kill me. Yeah, and so will I, unless you hurry up. <laughs> 